Hi everybody, this is Mirab and this is an overview of iJoomla SEO. iJoomla SEO is the ultimate Joomla extension for helping you optimize your, your website for search engines. Let's take a look a little bit on the, on the back end, there is no front end on iJoomla SEO and we'll go over all the features uh, very briefly and then there's plenty of other tutorials that explain about uh, each feature in more details. Let's start with the homepage or the cPanel of Ajuna SEO. Here on top you can see some statistics about which of your keywords are up on Google, which are down, how many are without change. You can see which uh, items have missing titles, meta tags, keywords and descriptions. And you can have, you have easy buttons to access different sections of the site. Here on the right you can see that you can see news about iJoomla SEO so you'll know what's happening with it. You can see the changelog, you can see video tutorials, you can see news from iJoomla and uh, the Joomla, iJoomla blog which has a lot of cool information about different things that are happening with the Joomla and the different tips for using Joomla. Now let's get started with the features of iJoomla SEO. I'm going to start with the Meta Tags Manager. You, you get to it by clicking Meta Tags. You, here you can see a list of all your menu items or articles that you can select here. You can choose whether menu items, articles, or any other supported third-party extensions. We support quite a few of them. Not all of them for 1.7 yet. And you can edit them all in one place. So instead of having to open each article, enter the meta tags, then close the article, and then open another article, you can do all of it in one organized page. You can do this for articles, menu item, Mosset Street, Digistore, a K2, and all the other uh, third-party extensions that we support. This will save you a ton of time for doing search engine optimization. The next feature I want to show you is the Keywords Manager. In the Keywords Manager, you can see exactly what's going on with your keyword phrases that you're optimizing for. You can see what's the Google rank, and you can see whether it's up or down on Google. If it's up, it's going to so show you a, a green arrow, and if it's down, it's going to show you a red arrow. And you can see exactly the change in, in parentheses here. You can also make some keywords sticky, so you can follow them more closely. You can view your uh, this keyword on Google to see what your competition is doing, and you can also see on which articles this keyword uh, is uh, showing so that you can edit uh, the articles easily. The next feature is the Pages Manager. In the Pages Manager you can see a list of all your articles and you can see how many outgoing links you have in the article and you can see how many times the keyword phrase is showing inside the content so that you can optimize it. And in case you want to optimize it, you just click Edit and it will show you the fields to enter your meta tags and also the article content. So you can do everything on the fly. You don't have to go leave this page and go and open in an article and stuff like that. The next feature is the Keywords Linking Manager. You can create automatic linking to keywords so that you don't have to go and find the keyword and link to it every time. This will, this will save you a lot of time. And you can choose whether you want to link to an article, to a menu item, or to somewhere outside your site. So this is very powerful and will save you a lot, a lot of time. The next feature is redirects. You basically, if you don't want to link directly to other sites, if you don't want to lose a page rank, then you can link through a redirect and then use the URL that you see here to link instead of linking directly. You can also see how many times this page was clicked on, the, the link was clicked on. Now we're going to go over the settings page that has a bunch of other features. For example, you can add, you can add alt tags to images automatically. You can uh, style keywords with, uh, with bold or it italic. You can replace the common uh, but un uh, unuseful Joomla classes with useful headings. You can choose from where your keywords are coming from, whether the meta tag, the keywords meta tag, or the title meta tag. You can set the counter for uh, the keywords and descriptions uh, meta tag on the Meta Tags Manager. You can choose how you want to ping Google manually, automatically, once a day or once a week. You, you can choose which Google you want to check, whether it's google.com, google.co.uk or whatever uh, the Google that you want to optimize for. 
and you can also check to how many uh, pages in Google to optimize uh, to check for the ranking. You can also specify uh, which uh, div uh, it will show the internal uh, automatic linking. This way, uh, it will not link from menu items. So there's a lot more going on here where we can't get into all of it with an overview but please go ahead and watch our videos, there's plenty of them and they explain each feature in detail and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you!